Hey everyone, this is Paul from Day to Day Fixes. In this episode, we'll be installing a Casa Smart Dimmer Switch. Reminder, this is for entertainment purposes. If you don't feel comfortable doing electrical work, hire a licensed electrician. All right, now that that's out of the way, some breakers are double and some are single. So make sure you turn off the right breaker for your switch. We're testing it out, turning on the switch. There's no lights, so we're good. Now we're gonna take out the two screws on the face plate. And we're also gonna take out the two screws here, which I have already done. One wire is the line hot or feed. The other wire goes to the light fixture to make the switch work. The Casa Smart Dimmer switch also has a ground wire, which is green. In my case, I don't have ground wires because these electrical cables are BX. But since the switch has a ground, I wanted to put a screw into the an existing hole of the electrical box and tied the ground wire to that. Now we're going to remove the wires from the existing switch. And reminder, one is the feed and one goes to the switch. I'll be using the following voltage tester to figure out which one has power and which one doesn't. For this, I'm turning on the breaker. The loud beep and the red light signal to me that the right black wire was the feed. We can continue with the installation by going back to the breaker and turning the breaker back off. Now I am stripping the neutral wire so that way I can tie it together with the neutrals that are there. I'm using this linesman's pliers because it's bigger and gives me a better grip. I'm also putting tape around the wire nut just for preventive purposes. Now we can connect the line or hot and just make sure the loop is placed in the direction of tightening. Basically when you start tightening the screw, the wire tightens with the screw and you have a better connection. There won't be any loose connections. Now it's time to do the same with the other black wire. We can connect it to the load side. Next, we will push the neutral wires all the way back, nice and neat. Try to put it to an edge of the electrical box. And now I will be putting some tape around this. Some people do, some people don't. It's personal preference. I just want to make sure there, in the future there are no wires that will be touching there. I'm using a flat screwdriver and putting it in between a little notch in order to take out the face plate that the switch came with. Just for personal preference, I want all the switches in the apartment to look the same. We're testing it out. Turn on the switch. The light's turned on. We're good to go. Um, of course, don't forget to turn on the breaker in order for you guys to test it out. I'm putting the top two screws back in. Also putting the face plate that I had on previously and not using the one that came with the switch. As you dim the switch, light indicators go down and as you increase, they go up as shown. Comment if you would like to see the video on the app setup. Check out the description for more links on products used. Thanks for watching.